carbon offset, sequestration, net zero, carbon neutral, inset, carbon credits, tipping point, regenerative carbon agriculture, capture, emissions factor, scope three emissions. Huh? What do these words actually mean? Why is there so much confusing language around climate change? If we want to have a positive impact on the planet, why don't we just say what we mean? Studies show that when you hear too much jargon, our brains sort of just shut off. When we can't understand what is being said, we lose interest. Climate conversations are full of confusing buzzwords, which create a barrier between understanding and action. How can we stop climate change when the conversations around it feel jumbled with jargon? Clearing the air around jargon is an important step in the fight for our planet. This is Owen Bethel, Nestle's environmental impact lead. Owen is here to tell us how to identify and understand the language of real climate action. So I think it's really important for the public to understand the language that we're using around climate change. That's because it's a topic that will only be solved by all of us working together. So when we use jargon terms, that, that can be important in certain contexts, but we have to make sure that people understand what we're talking about. So two years ago, we published a roadmap for how our company is going to reach net zero emissions by 2050. Hang on a second. Let's talk about net zero before we get any further. Achieving net zero requires balance. Greenhouse gases entering the atmosphere are balanced by greenhouse gases removed from the atmosphere. We must reduce greenhouse gas emissions as thoroughly and quickly as possible. We need to balance the amount of greenhouse gas emissions entering the atmosphere with the amount being removed from the atmosphere. Reaching net zero around the world is essential for combating climate change. Nestle has built a roadmap of action which aims to help our company reach net zero emissions by 2050 at the latest. So what are our results so far? We've passed the peak of carbon emissions and continue to make progress, even as we produce more food. Our net zero roadmap is especially ambitious because it includes working with partners on Nestle's scope three emissions. Pause there. We got net zero. Now let's focus on scope three emissions. Scope three emissions are indirect emissions from farms and their activities. Emissions fall into three different scopes. Scope one are direct emissions from company facilities and factories. Scope two refer to indirect emissions from energy sources purchased by the company. And scope three are the indirect emissions linked to company operations, like the farmers who grow ingredients. When we looked at our emissions, we realized that more than two thirds of them came from the way our ingredients are grown. Pretty much all of Nestle's products begin life on a farm. So one of the most important things we can do to help reach net zero is to address the climate impact of farming through strategies like regenerative agriculture. Hold on, let's talk about regenerative agriculture. Regenerative agriculture is an approach to farming that aims to improve soil health, as well as protect water resources and biodiversity. By implementing regenerative farming, we can capture more carbon and foster healthier soils. Healthy soil is more resilient to the impacts of climate change, so that helps farmers manage changes like getting too much or too little in a rain season. By 2030, our goal is to source half of our main ingredients through regenerative agriculture practices. As the world's biggest coffee company, coffee farmers are a big area of focus. We're working with them in 16 countries already. Nestle agronomists go out into the field to share their knowledge, and we also pay a premium for socially and environmentally responsibly sourced ingredients. The more we understand about climate change, the faster we can take action together, because everyone has to be part of this conversation. If we hope to take meaningful action to preserve our planet for future generations, learn more about Nestle's sustainability initiatives today. <laughs>